Welcome to the WIHS Journal. On today's broadcast, I'll continue my conversation from yesterday with Brittany Palladino. She is the CEO and founder of Ichthys Verseware, and she's hoping that it'll be an evangelistic movement, sharing your faith whenever you wear these creative shirts. Join us today for part two. So I couldn't get any time on his calendar. I went to another graphic designer. She could have cared less about it. So now I throw my hands up yeah. to the ceiling and I say, Lord, if you really want Cameron to be part of this, you're going to have to figure out how to get me on his calendar. So the next Friday we had lunch. Yep. <laughs> and I told him about my idea and why I wanted to do it. And he had the oddest look on his face. And I thought to myself, oh, he, you know, I'm weirding him out. Yeah. Like, I, you know, that maybe this is not his thing. And so I th- think to myself, oh, well, I'll just buy him lunch and we'll, we'll call it a day. And so I, I paused and I said, um, what do you think? And he, I never expected what he was going to say. He said, I had a T-shirt that I bought a long time ago. It was just a hand with a hole through it. And it said one truth. He said, and I loved that shirt. And I always wanted to do something like it, but I just didn't know how. Wow. A divine connection right there. A divine connection. And he was someone that I knew since high school. Yeah. So as I have gone through and developed this concept and developed what we're trying to do, I realize there are so many people in my life that he's placed long ago and for other reasons that are coming into play now. Yep. So... We launched. Um, it took us eight years. There was a lot of spiritual attack that prevented us from launching. I can imagine. Yeah. But we were, we couldn't get rid of the idea. Neither one of us wanted to give up on it, regardless of what happened. Yeah. And the last time I was, we had thought about launching, which we actually ended up being this time, thankfully. <laughs> we were on the 99 yard line. There was yep. just, just a few things we needed to do and Cameron needed to do them. And he was just so busy with work and family and this and that. And I said, look, look, Lord. Take it from me if you don't want to do it. I, I'm done. Yeah. If you don't want this to, to happen, forget about it. Yeah. Just tell him to call call me up on Monday and tell me he's too busy and he can't do it. So Cameron does call me on Monday. But what he says is, oh, I don't know if you've checked the file share that we have, but I've done a whole bunch of work all weekend and Praise I posted God. it in there. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, well, okay, here yeah. we go. The main thing that I try to stress, though, is that the T-shirts are not, we're not just selling T-shirts. That's not what we're about. We've just launched a robust website that will have teachings on it. There are some on there now that pertain to the topics of the shirts. There's a community forum. We're building a movement. We're building an evangelical movement. Yeah. Well, if you're tuning in right now, that was uh, Brittany Palladino. And we're talking about, it's actually pronounced, I hope I'm saying this right, um, ICTHUS. Correct? Say that yes. correct? And um, it, so it's verse wear. It's not just a T-shirt. And I love the design. So you're wearing one that says lost and found and the loss is crossed out. I know there was some that um, uh, maybe you can describe some of them and, you know, maybe the verse that goes with it. So, yeah. Absolutely. My favorite personally yeah. is the new and improved. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, It's a new and improved design. It looks like something you would see on a 70s like laundry soap container. Yes. New and improved. Yep. Yep. And I've always joked about things like that because I'm like, how can something be new and improved at the same time? Yep. It's either new or it's improved, right? But this one is, you know, we're a new creation in Christ. Therefore, the old is gone and the new has come. And that's the reference that's on the back of the shirt. Awesome. Yeah. So this... That particular shirt, I was in the grocery store and uh, just in my own humanness, I was scooting around this like older couple because I was in a hurry. I, you know, I have the shirt on. So I hear the gentleman behind me say, oh, I'm going to have to look that verse up when I go home. Praise so God. I turn yeah. right around yeah. and I told him exactly what it was. But now he can see the front. So mm-hmm. the thing comes together, yes. you know. Yeah. And he's like, wow, that's really cool. So he walks away uh, and we meet up again at the paper towels. And I said, now, what's the verse you're going to look up? Yeah. So him and I start talking about the verse and and about, you know, who said it and why. And and he says, you know, I said, that's why I started this. So we could have these conversations. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I'm trying to do. And he looked at me and he said, there really is still good in the world. And honestly, I wanted to hug him. <laughs> <laughs> One of those uh, God smiles, divine moments again. So so I love his shirt. So tell us um, maybe more how, how you came up with a name for it, too. Verse where? Yeah. Well, the ichthys yep. is the Greek word for the Jesus fish, yep. which was a secret symbol to the Christians when they were under persecution. Yep. 
So I liked the stealthy symbol connection to the not obvious design. Yeah. So there was a way to identify each other with the with the Jesus fish, if you will. Yeah. Then and there's so there's a way that I can introduce Jesus to people now. For instance, I was um, I was at a store. The guy waiting on me had tattoos from head to toe, yeah. long beard, face jewelry, all this sort of thing. And I had the freak shirt on. Yeah. So just as freak. And it's yeah. in the shape of a fish, but it doesn't it wouldn't look that obvious to someone who doesn't readily yes. recognize a yeah. Jesus fish, which became evident when he yeah. said, oh, I love your shirt. Yeah. I'm like, oh, thanks. And then he goes, you know, he kind of gets puzzled. He goes, does that go with anything? So I turned around yeah. and I showed him the reference. And yeah. that reference is we preach Christ crucified, which is the stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. So I explained that to him and he has the most horrified look like, <laughs> oh, no, I've just asked the Jesus freak a question. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept it light. Yeah. I, you know. I wanted him to relax yeah. so we could have a conversation about yeah. it. And he did. Yeah. And it wasn't super long because the line started yeah, for him. Of course, yeah. But I planted a seed. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I was a good witness. So I think that's, you know, what I was trying to accomplish in that absolutely. instance. Yeah. Not only you, but anybody who wears these, anyone exactly. who has a heart for evangelism, just the shirt speaks for itself. The shirt, you know, that's yeah. what we say. It's a, yeah. it's a it's an icebreaker. It's a wearable icebreaker for discussing the Bible because as I, I, I'm a speaker. Yep. So as I've gone and I've spoken, spoken at churches, people came to me yep. and said, oh, I really wish that I was as comfortable with sharing the Bible or, or, your, or my faith as you are. Yeah. And that's kind of really why I wanted to keep doing this because I wanted to give somebody a tool, like a jumping off point. Yeah. Plus, I think when you wear it and you're preparing yourself mentally for conversations, which you may may or may not have that yeah, day, yep. you're in a, just in a different mindset. You're, you're God focused. Yeah. So even if nothing happens that day, you're like your mind and your heart are open to what God has in store for you because you're wearing the shirt. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, thank you so much for telling us how you came to God. Your two different stories um, about these great verse wear shirts. Tell us um, how listeners can find out more if they would like to have you maybe come speak at your church. Or I know there's a store here now in Connecticut, too, that's holding them. So all three of those. Yes. So Apostle Stores in Southington is now stocking all of our styles that they just put them in the store yesterday. So yep. we were just over the moon to Praise see them God. in yep. a location. Yep. You can go on our website, which is I for this verse where and where is W E A R dot com. You can find out all about us there, what our philosophies are, what the shirts look like, um, any of participate in any of the community forums. I do speak. You can find me at Brit Paladino dot com. Um, also, um, what what will be coming as far as the shirts and the connection to the churches is I'm writing a I'm writing a teaching on everyday evangelism. So we're going to talk about ways that we reasons we might not evangelize today. It does evangelism does look a lot different today than it did maybe 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Absolutely, what we can do to promote evangelism in every day of our life. So rather than waiting for your church to have some type of yeah. bring a friend to church day, yeah. I think every Sunday is bringing a friend to church day, yeah. but you know what I mean? So, yeah. well, Jesus said, go, go. He know, said, go. go. Yeah. So that's my, you know, my sticking point is that, you know, the, the great commission is go, but we're, we're, we're sitting in our churches waiting for people to show up and that's not what it says. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> it's been a pleasure uh, speaking with you, hearing all this is anything that I miss that you'd want to uh, convey to our listeners. The only thing I'd want to convey is to just check out our site. Um, we'll, we're happy to start launching the everyday evangelism talking points in the pop-up shops that will come with us yep. to the churches that I speak at starting in January. But I will, I welcome any questions or conversations about it. You can email me at Brit at iverswear.com. Once again on the broadcast with us was Brittany Palladino, the founder of ICFIS Verseware. She's hoping that it'll be an evangelistic movement sharing your faith whenever you wear these creative t-shirts. There is a creative and unique design in front of all these shirts and a scripture that correlates in the back. Today concludes our second part of this broadcast. For more details, give WIHS a call at 860-346-1049. 
The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily those of the staff and management of the station. I'm Anissa Supportichelli. The WIHS Journal is public affairs from WIHS Middletown, 